Let's take a tour and see trial of this beautiful 2006 Grady White 222 Center Council for sale in Delray Beach, Florida. Grady White Boats needs no introduction, and this 222 Center Council is one of their best-selling models of all time. If you're in the market for a luxury high-end center council by one of the premier boat builders in America, this is one you should seriously take a look at. This particular 222 comes loaded up from the factory with a lot of nice options, including the Bennett hydraulic trim tabs, a big rear cockpit space that you can easily fit two, three, four guys for fishing, and it does have the optional jump seats that come with the boat, which we have a picture of right here. That's a nice factory upgrade when you're bringing out friends and family. You could stow them away when not needed or you're fishing for extra cockpit space. The 222 Fisherman from Grady White measures 22 feet length overall with a beam of eight foot, a fuel capacity of 96 gallons, and this one has an upgraded freshwater washdown with 10 gallon capacity, among some other upgrades we'll show you. Dual battery option on this boat, both on the port and starboard side with switch. Nice organizer there for your fishing knives and any lures that you can hang off the back there temporarily, good spot for it. Everything is overbuilt on these Grady Whites. If you've never owned one before, owe it to yourself to check it out. The oversized cleats. This one does have that fresh water option with 10 gallon capacity, which is right where you want it on the transom. When you're coming in and out of the water, you can wash off your snorkel gear or anything that you have and salt. You can get it right off of there. Very nice option to have that 10 gallon capacity. Under the gunnel rod storage on both the port and starboard side, really nice option there. Nice cushion on the rear facing bait well. That's an upgraded option with the deluxe leaning post. We'll show you that working, but that is a huge live well with 23 gallon capacity. Rod storage on the rear of the leaning post as well as lockable tackle storage for your Plano trays that we showed you there behind that black plexiglass. Very nice. Big heavy build quality on these Grady Whites and look at that all stainless rod holders with the Grady White logo. Really nice touches that you don't find on most production boats. The vinyl on this boat's in very nice condition. No rips or tears. It looks literally like new. Two nice upgrades on this boat are the 55 PSI raw water wash down for cleaning the decks with your hose. And again, that large 23 gallon recirculating live well with that oval shape to keep the bait fish fresh when you're headed out offshore. Another factory upgrade on this one is the deluxe leaning post with backrest and footrest that folds down. If you're standing, you can fold that out of the way. Just really comfortable helm. And look at that beautiful pleated vinyl in brand new condition. Just an awesome place to captain this boat. There's a second footrest also with storage underneath. There's tons of storage all over this Grady White boat. It just feels a lot bigger than that 22 feet 2 inch designation. Your Yamaha key start switch and your digital throttle and shift with the upgraded engine. Also your Sea Star steering and that is a tilt helm which is a nice upgrade as well. Bennett hydraulic tabs, your Yamaha digital command link gauges, none of that analog stuff that you sometimes see. With the newer engine that was put on this boat, the F250 four stroke B, it only has 149 hours. This one has a nice Garmin 421S, which is the sounder model. So it does GPS and fish finder capability for your depth underneath the boat. Really nice. The high quality stainless that Grady White uses looks great for years, as you can see on this boat. The cup holders vent for the console. Look at the thickness of the windshield on this boat. You don't see that on most lesser boats. Grady White really does it right. This one comes with the deluxe T-top with the electronics box and all the lighting's been upgraded to LED lighting. We upgraded this boat with our own Wave 1 Marine IP68 rated dual color spreader light, white and blue from a single switch. You can upgrade an older boat with these really nicely. Again, they're dual color with an internal driver, so you can choose white or blue, a thousand lumens from each of those colors. So you can see in the evening, what a cool look at the dock when you turn on the blue version, and you also have the white if you'd like to use it for night fishing. That's an awesome upgrade. Check those out on our website for your boat. Nice PFD storage underneath the T-top, as well as the upgraded electronics box option that it came with, with stainless strut and your VHF antenna with a Shakespeare antenna mounted to the T-top. 
Really nicely done there, and you can keep anything else dry that you like to put in there as well. Well done from Grady White. Just everything is so well thought out and built well. The sturdiness and the aluminum on that T-top is in excellent condition. Taking a look down the side decks, nice roomy space to get to the bow. You don't have to worry about stubbing your toes. They did it really well there. Nice, wide, sturdy gunnels, and again, the bolsters there, great for leaning on the side, your stainless gas fill and a large console, which we'll show the inside of here in just a moment. The aluminum on the T-top, as mentioned, is in great shape, and the fabric on the T-top was recently replaced with the upgraded white stamoid material, which really sets off this boat with a more modern look. Really nicely done. Large walk-in headspace with the optional pump-out head, so you don't have to remove the porta potty if somebody uses it. It has a pump-out feature as well as the upgraded macerator feature. If you're offshore, you can pump it out as well with the macerator pump. If you've ever had a head that you actually had to remove, what a nice upgrade to have this one that's plumbed into the boat system. The build quality on these Grady Whites is evident throughout. Everything is heavy duty. There's your waste pump out, so you don't even have to remove that head if you need to clean it. It can just be sucked out right at the marina. Nice, sturdy, stainless cleats, the low profile bow rail, and when you grab all the fittings and everything on this boat, it's just super heavy duty, which is what you come to expect on a luxury boat like a Grady White. The forward facing seating is one of the most popular spots there in front of the console. Great spot to sit and enjoy the breeze when you're headed out on a day in the water with your friends and family. Tons of storage in the forward casting deck. And look at the quality that Grady White uses to make these hatches. Super thick, first of all. They're all gasketed, as you like to see on a high-end boat. And then they use stainless gas-assisted struts. Not the black ones that rust out. These are the stainless ones. And they are beautiful to hold that up so you don't have to worry about your fingers getting pinched when your family's getting their towels in and out of those storage areas or whatever else you might have here. Huge casting deck, as you can see, and again, that nice low-profile stainless rail, which really sets off the boat with a modern look. Your navigation lights on the port and starboard side, and a great anchor locker with oversized Danfoss-style anchor with the latches to hold it in place so it doesn't rattle around when you have it up there. Everything is thought out on these Grady White boats. Really well done, as you can see. Just an awesome layout, and it is a big 22-foot, 2-inch boat, as you can see. All right, now on to one of the best parts. Let's get the boat out for a sea trial and talk about the upgraded engine on this boat, the F250B, B for the fly-by-wire system. Folks, this engine only has 150 hours and it was installed. It is not the original engine. It was installed in 2010 on this boat. It is a 2008 model F250B, which is the first year that Yamaha came out with the digital throttle and shift. And if you haven't had one with that digital throttle and shift, it is nothing like the conventional cable engine boats. You'd never want to go back to that if you can with one of these digital throttles and shifts. It was just fully serviced with fresh gear oil and engine oil. As you can see on the dipsticks, there's really even no color in the oil yet. It is just done. Very clean underneath the cowling as you'd expect with only 150 hours with the shift actuator right there on the starboard side. Looks great, and once you have one of those guys, look at the skeg, no paint wear, no cracks or anything like that, and the stainless prop is in beautiful condition as well. Folks, it only has 150 hours on this upgraded F250B that was installed in 2010. And there's the Yamaha computer, and it has no codes in it and only 150 hours of use, just broken in. With the digital throttles and shifts as we pull off the dock here on our sea trial, this boat is a joy to drive. It also has Sea Star hydraulic steering, and it is a tilt helm, so you can adjust it to the angle depending upon the height of the driver to really get a comfortable seating position for taking this boat out. It is a joy to drive. Fingertip steering, you see that, folks? It is very smooth with the Sea Star hydraulic steering. And with the digital throttle and shift, driving this boat around the dock and docking it on a windy day becomes much easier because it is so precise with the input from the captain. Folks, just like to highlight that 99% of these were equipped with a 225 Yamaha four stroke with mechanical throttle and cable shift which was antiquated compared to this upgraded engine that was installed in 2010. And with only 150 hours in digital throttle and shift with the upgraded binnacle control, 
Folks, this is a huge upgrade to have the max rate of power, the 250 horses, and you're going to see as we get her up on plane, she comes out of the water very quickly. Great hole shot with the 250. It's the perfect engine for this boat. All right, let's lay down the throttle, and you can see she came out of the water very quickly. The hole shot is terrific, and we're already at 40 miles per hour here with that 250 F250B four-stroke, and again, with only 150 hours. Don't look at a boat with a ragged out 225 that's got a thousand something hours on it. Here's an F250B with only a hundred and fifty hours. Awesome. Crossing the wake, you can see it's a smooth dry ride. We're not taking any water spray or anything on the windshield. This boat really handles nicely. Read the reviews on the 22 Fisherman. This one does have that upgraded CV2 hull, which is the later hull design from Grady White. Note the hull shot. If you want to pull some tubers or your kids behind on skis or something, very easy to do with this boat. With the 250, it comes out of the water very quickly. And now a little additional footage, everybody's favorite part. We do it in all our sea trial videos. We lay down the throttle, the full wide open to show you the health of the engine. And folks, this one turns up 6,000 RPM, which is the same RPM as the day it is brand new. Obviously, it's only got 150 hours on it. It lays down really well. And there we are at 45.8 miles an hour. After we put the camera down, folks, we were able to hit 47 miles per hour at 6,000 RPMs on this boat with that 250. It's a heavy boat, as you know. Grady White builds these boats like tanks. They're built for a lifetime. And with that 250, she flies right at 47 miles per hour at 6,000 RPM, which is exactly the specification you're looking for. Just an awesome build and ride from the Grady White 222 with that Yamaha 250B. Imagine taking your friends and family offshore to your favorite fishing spot, to the restaurant in the evening, or to the sandbar to relax. This boat does it all so well. At Wave One Marine, we've been selling boats online for over 15 years. On Google, we have all five-star reviews and 100% feedback on eBay for every boat that we've sold. We make these comprehensive video tours so you as a customer can make an informed decision about the boat you're going to buy. We've sold boats all over the world, including Canada, Croatia, Thailand, New Zealand, and Australia. So nice to see one without the old black bottom paint on it. The hull sides shine very nice, as you can see, and it's coming along with the tandem aluminum all-American trailer that you see pictured with LED lights. Thanks so much for watching the video tour of this Grady White. If you have any additional questions, don't hesitate to contact us.